Hi, 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 hey. Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is stop locking men and women in narrow archetypes. In my community over here, we are talking a lot about the feminine and the masculine. And to tell you the truth, some of the labels that are being put on men or on women are old and boring and I don't want to be locked anymore in those boxes. Okay, it's like, it's very nice to polarize, you know, there is certain identity in being male, there is a certain identity and power in being female, and at the same time, you know, all this overlaps and we are free, okay? So the idea that a male has to behave in a certain way, that these are the patterns of the male, of the mature male archetype, and when you do that, you're not being male, and the same for women, you know, this is what it means to be feminine. It's like, come on, give me a break, okay? Those are boxes, they are labels, they are metaphors, they are uh, restrictive, and uh, my belief is that we are way more than that. A, a, the, the a man's role is not just to be there. You know that I, I talked about that, right? Holding space for a woman. That's great, that's a very good positive quality, but it's not all there is. As a man, you know, sometimes I'm going to be explosive. I'm going to be angry, I'm going to just blast and fully own it, being there in that space of conscious presence with these energies, you know, without threatening anybody or without putting the lives of anybody in danger. But those emotions, when they wake up, what I'm going to do, just suppress them, block them, be like, oh no, you're not allowed to do that. There is, these are the restrictions, these are the places. Or, no, there is a part of me that is wild and so is it in you. And the same for women, you know, I know some, the, the, the diversity of characters and archetypes that a woman can incarnate and express. You know, it's like, oh yeah, when you are being aggressive, you are being a male. You go like, ah. Are you serious? Of course not. You are being female. The, the aggressive energies and what we call male qualities, like men go to war and women don't. Well, <laughs> what are you talking about? Look at Wonder Woman. Look at all the archetypes, the vast range of what she's doing there. She's going with her sword. She's, she's more aggressive than her companion when it comes to taking action. You know, who is the one who is in the front range with her shield? ready to blast and attack, to defend the poor, to defend the victims. This is a female archetype, okay? And you say, well, it's a male quality in a female body. You go like, no, no, I refuse to look at it from that place. <laughs> it's a female quality as much as it's a male quality. Those labels no longer work for me. I'm tired of them, okay? Because they lock us within boxes and within limitations of frames that no longer apply. I want to break them. I want to dissolve them. They don't make sense to me anymore. It's like, it's almost like being politically correct within these frames of what it means to be a man and what it means to be a woman. You know, the, most of the times when people go like, oh, here is how a male behaves, I go like, I don't recognize any of that in me. None of it. And sometimes I see my friends or somebody labeling and saying, oh, a woman is supposed to be behaving like that. You know, you know I'm not sure if you saw this uh, meme that I posted to him. Yeah, being a delicate flower, you know, it's like, oh, come on. No. Some of the most powerful warriors on this planet are females, okay? And the female archetypes of Diana and Artemis, you have warriors all over mythology that were women. They are able to incarnate that. And then some of the most compassionate beings on this planet who were holding space for the poor with waves of compassion. We're males. They came with peace. Think about somebody like Gandhi or Nelson Mandela. Were like, yeah, they had the fire inside. Yeah, but the expression, you know, they were not carrying swords. Yes, and sometimes the wars are being fought by men more than by women. But the point is this, it is like, stop locking human beings in those restrictive labels. We are way more than that. 
And I'm sure that some of you who are seeing these videos, you are tired of it as well. I mean, tired is not the right word. It's like, no, I'm, I'm blasting these models. They no longer work. And yes, sometimes polarizing, uh, you know, polarizing the qualities. Like for instance, if I'm in a relationship with a woman and I can feel that she, all she wants is to surrender to my power, I'm going to enter into this, this energy and this fire and she will feel sometimes sensually dominated by my energy. And that's a thrill, that's a powerful experience, of course. You know, and sometimes I'm going to be in a connection with a woman who is going to be nurturing my field with her kindness and love. And sometimes it's going to be the other way around. I've been with females who are freaking dominant and aggressive and abusive. And that's a female quality as well. That's a human quality. So instead of being like making all these gender divisions, let's realize that we are yeah, maybe a bit more gender fluid <laughs> when it comes to these definitions and, um, and that we, we can embody a whole range of archetypes and being like, oh, you're not being male or you're not being female enough when you're behaving in that way. It's like as if we needed a permission to fit within somebody's model. I don't want to fit in a model, <laughs> you know. I don't want to be defined by these boxes because they are restrictive. They don't make sense anymore. So here's my question for you. How does that resonate in your field? I know you might, some of you might have objections. You go like, yeah, but... Okay, this is not an argument. This is my truth, okay, what I'm voicing. I'm not saying this to be convinced. Otherwise, you don't have to correct me. And you don't have to tell me that I'm wrong. You know, we probably feel more or less the same. What I'm doing here is like breaking that mold in my mind and making it public. I'm done with this, okay? <laughs> it's boring. It's boring, 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 boring. It's restrictive. And so for yourself, if you are ready to break that mold, tell me about it. And if you're not, tell me, tell me about it also. Tell me what's your experience with uh, these male-female models of polarization and so on. And again, you know, it's not, I'm not against polarization. Of course, when you are with somebody, there is going to be a balance of power and energy and love. And you give more of a certain quality and the other person gives more of a certain quality. But I've been sometimes with women who were way more you know, powerful and owning and directive with lots of conquering drive. You know, somebody would look at that and they would say, oh, well, you were actually the feminine energy in the relationship and she was the male energy. And guess what? You know, it's like those labels don't make sense because why do you want to name it feminine or masculine? It's not feminine or masculine. It's the quality itself. It's an energetic embodiment of a certain quality. You don't have to associate it with one gender or another. Okay, this is my view. So again, yeah, share. Tell me what you feel. Yeah. <laughs> be nice to, um, yeah, to check out a little bit that more. And uh, I know that some of these models, they were valid maybe 20 years ago. Like they, they really helped me understand a little bit more about polarization and male female dynamics. That was really good. But now I'm like, pff, you know, moving beyond that. It's, um, I, uh, you know, I, I rarely use the terms like masculine or feminine qualities. I don't use them. I, they are just qualities and they are not associated with one specific gender anymore. <laughs> and yes, you might, you might go and watch my videos and you can see that I'm already contradicting myself because, yeah, sometimes I will. But for now, this is, this is the thing that I want to do because I feel like there is a mold there in our society that is trying to constrict us within uh, gender roles and um, pff, fuck it yeah <laughs> let's grow beyond that okay let's destroy this um, this mold and these boxes i love you <laughs>